I like to stuff hamburgers with all kind of stuff. So I'm going to put into this one a red onion, sun-dried tomato, a little oregano, Parmesan cheese, a little salt, pepper, a little salt, a little pepper, a little oregano. I like a lot of red onion. Sun-dried tomato. And the Parmesan. I'm going to mix it up. The sun-dried tomatoes I bought I put water and soaked them in the refrigerator for a couple of days. These are not the ones that are packed in oil. Now they're nice and soft. I'm going to put a few drops of oil on the plate because this is where the hamburger is going to be made. And this way it will slide right off the plate onto the grill. Get yourself one of these hamburger presses. Put that eight ounce hamburger in there which is a little bit more now because of the stuffing and the stuffing works well because it doesn't fall out of your bun press and there you go now when you cook that it just cooks nice and uh, evenly and it looks good instead of being rounded well, maybe it was a nine ounce hamburger. Anyway, we're gonna, I'm gonna turn it over here. Get a little oil there. And I'll slide it right on there. And this is gonna look good and taste good later. It's kind of thick. That's a good inch. So we're gonna close it up so it cooks a little faster. Now that's about three minutes so far. And I haven't touched it. You gotta leave it to get those marks on there. Oh it's stuck a little. Well we'll see how it does now. Now we're going to turn this thing over and it will have nice grill marks on it. It's not bad, but not exactly what I wanted. But this hamburger, we usually eat them rare, but because of the stuffing that's in there, I just want a little pink. I think it'll be tastier. And this is going to take a good, uh, good ten minutes. That's a big baby. Well, one thing for sure, it looks good. It held its shape. And we're going to take it inside now. It's been about ten minutes. And we'll cut it open and see how it looks. As I was bringing this into the house, I really got the aroma. It smells just like a meatball, nice Italian meatball, except no egg and no bread. So, that's good, it's not too rare. And I want this to taste like that is really good. Tastes just like a meatball. A little tomato sauce over it. I'll put a nice slice of beefsteak tomato, piece of lettuce, one hell of a hamburger. I hope you enjoy it.